My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We have an incredible let me repeat, incredible 1966 GTO factory documented triple black four-speed car has a tri-power. Look at the documentation. And not only did someone spend the time and the money, but the end result was incredible. This car is outstanding. If you go to volocars.com, you can read all my specs that I post on there. You can study the 100 pictures. You'll get the price. And not only this car, but there's a few hundred collector cars we have for sale at volocars.com. If you subscribe to our YouTube channel, you can see these videos. If you click on the bell icon, you'll be the first to see them as they come out. But right now, I've got a lot to tell you. Let's go for a spin in the 66 GTO convertible. Believe it or not, this paint job is over. 20 years old. This thing is laser beam straight. I honestly don't know of a flaw. There's not a crack. There's no shrinkage. There's no bubbles. It is absolutely laser straight. And those are some long panels. There's not even a little ripple. I don't care how fussy you are. I don't care if you've been a body man all your life. You're going to look at this car in person and say, that is nice. It's like a mirror. I said this before, it looks like I could dive in, but this literally looks like I could reach right in. Looks like there's another one of me. All the gaps are right on the money. All the panels fit square and flush. Of course, all the trim, the bumpers, the emblems, the moldings have all been redone. The stainless is polished. I think this is the first time I've ever done a convertible with the top up. That's because they did upgrade it. It's the black cloth, the German cloth top, which is a really nice upgrade, has a glass window also. The interior is done as nice as the exterior. All new cushions so the seats fit perfectly. And I mean the window cranks, the armrests, the, the seat belts, the custom or deluxe wood grain wheel, all redone. Interior lights work has rally one wheels with the red line tires, has disc brakes behind there. Everything fits nice. T3 headlights, the grills, the bezels, all of that's excellent. Windshield's nice and clear, has the original uh, antenna. It is the correct dated motor. They didn't have numbers matching, so all you could do is match the codes and the dates. It is correct. The tri-power was added. It is a correct tri-power unit. It was added to this car. It has power steering, power brakes, and it's all correct. The hoses and clamps, uh, the crayon markings on the firewall that it would have had on the assembly line, it's all there. The trim on the seats, the backs of the seats, all of this, the door jams, everything is spotless. The, dash is incredible. It has the console, the walnut shift knob, the deluxe wheel, the rally gauges, AM FM radio, and everything functions. I personally took this car out and drove it. <laughs> Extremely impressive. Trunk compartments all restored. It's got the two-piece mat, the tire cover, restored jack, new weather strip, the decal. It's all painted nice. It's got the trim around the pedals. The dash pad is mint, all the rubber, and, and everything fits nice. I've seen plenty of restorations where they throw a ton of money at it, and it's just not right. This car is right, I'm telling you. Look how, I, how many uh, receipts and documentation. It's all itemized. Even the AM, FM radio plays nice and clearly. Visors are new, the mirror is new. I 
underneath the car. The body was never off the frame, but it's been thoroughly restored. Everything's been done. Look at the door jams again. The sill plates are shiny. It does have the boot for when the top is down. The light in the back of the console works, the light under the dash works, the lights back here work. It's just that type of car. These were plastic rear windows, they did upgrade it with the glass. You really should unzip it to fold it down. That's why I stopped right there. I didn't want to crack the window. Uh, but go to volocars.com. Plenty of ways on there to contact us. I have a staff of people that will answer your questions about this car, about the process, the delivery, the financing. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you click on the bell icon, you'll be the first to see the next one that comes out. Thanks for watching.